Hey everyone, Aaron here at Kite Paddle Surf, and today we're going to be going through how to choose the best beginner surfboard for you. Now I've kind of categorized this in two types of beginners, so I'm going to talk about each beginner and kind of what that beginner should be looking at in a surfboard. Now, as you're watching this video, you may be going on your first surf trip out to the beach. You may have already been out once. So I'm going to be talking to those people right now. And essentially, if you go to the beach and you go and the first time you're going to do doing a surf lesson or somebody, one of your friends, family members has a surfboard, it's probably going to be a big, long foam board and you're gonna have that first experience of riding a surfboard and you're gonna be super stoked and you're gonna wanna get your first beginner surfboard. So today, as we're looking through this board, I want you to kind of figure out what two categories you find yourself in. So the first beginner I'm gonna talk about is the one that went to the beach or they're going to the beach and they're gonna surf for the first time and they wanna get their own beginner board but they're gonna have this board for a long time. They're gonna share it with others and they don't necessarily wanna progress and be surfing all the time or frequently. They want a beginner board that every time they go to the beach, they can go surf and have a great time. And it's gonna be durable. It's gonna last a long time. So that's the type of beginner I'm gonna be talking to first. Now, typically a board like that, we're probably gonna be looking at a soft top. And the reason why I think a soft top is such a great board for that type of beginner is because not only does it have a lot of volume, but it also is going to allow you to catch waves easily and it's going to be safe to surf with because when you do fall, you're going to fall on the board and it's not going to hurt. So we're going to talk about some of the catch surf uh, long boards that we have. So the first one that I want to talk about here is the log, which is this board right here. Now this is an eight foot, and then next to it here I have a nine foot. This is by far one of our favorite boards for that type of beginner who wants to have a surfboard where every time that they go surfing, whenever it is on a trip, uh, or they wanna always have it with them in the car, they can have a great time out there surfing. Uh, the 8.0 is a great size for the average adult, I would say. Uh, maybe under 175 pounds, this would be great. If you're closer to that 200 pound range, I would say go for the, the 9.0, the bit more volume. It's gonna allow you to catch the smallest of waves and have fun out there. Uh, so another thing that I wanna talk about that's great with these boards is not only their length and their volume, but their thickness as well. So thickness plays a huge role in catching waves. If I take this board and compare it to say an 8.0 that's like this um, 7.0, torque, or sorry, excuse me, 70 lib pickup stick right here. It's a very thin board and it doesn't have as much volume. So what that means is, is uh, your paddle power with this board is gonna be greater. So you're gonna be able to catch waves easier. And then also when you're riding, or you're, excuse me, when you're catching those waves, the front end of this board is gonna sit above the water more and it's not going to pearl. The nose is not gonna get buried in the wave. So it's gonna allow a lot more forgiveness in a board that has these really nice full rails all the way to the nose. So this is a great beginner board for that type of beginner who wants to have that board that they can always take out, go surf with, not necessarily looking for progression as a beginner, but just always have a board that you're gonna have fun that you can share with others. And you don't have to worry about not catching waves. You're always gonna have a great time catching waves with this board. Uh, these boards, even though they are soft top, it's good to wax them to have that little bit of extra grip as well. And uh, all the soft tops do include fins, so you don't have to purchase fins with these boards, which is nice. Saves you some money. Now, for that same type of beginner, you could be looking at getting a soft top for, say, a small adult or a child. Uh, that's also another great option is these soft tops. So some of these soft tops I have over here, uh, this would be great for uh, a young person because it has a lot of volume. Not only with the soft top, it's gonna be forgiving if you fall on it, 
but the price point is really great on these type of boards. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to get um, maybe a son or daughter or a small family member a surfboard as well. So these come in different uh, shapes and sizes, uh, five and a half feet all the way up to say six, six and a half feet is a great um, height to be at for a small adult or child. So these are great boards. They're easy for um, kids to handle in the ocean. Uh, Putting an eight foot, nine foot longboard on a child and trying to get them surfing can be challenging because they have a leash and they gotta drag that board back out into the ocean. These are nice and manageable for, for kids. So we got quite a few different shapes, shapes and sizes of those as well. Now I'm gonna talk about the other beginners. So the other beginner would be the one who's gone, they've gone out for a surf lesson or they borrowed their friend's surfboard and they really want to learn how to become a better surfer. So soft tops will work, but you're not gonna progress and you're not gonna learn as much from surfing with those boards. So my recommendation would be is to not get a soft top, but, but get one of these hard boards is how we talk about them. So I have two right here that I've put aside. So I'll talk about the torque right here. This is a 7.6 Fun. This is a very popular board for people who are progressing into that I, I'm a beginner but I want to become a better surfer this is a great option because it starts off by having three fins at the back of the board where that's already going to kind of overlay in or transfer over into shorter boards it has a harder rail line here in the back so you're actually able to engage the fins and the back of the board so you can actually um, have a lot more turning power in the board and then in general as you can notice the board is quite a bit thinner here so this one is in the 50 liter range so versus uh, comparable in the soft top is in the 80 liter range so you are getting less liters but this board is going to start to paddle a little bit more with a bit more performance so that you can not only when you catch those waves but you can start to make maneuvers on the board as well um, it's going to be it's going to be a little bit ch more challenging as a beginner because you don't have that um, ton of volume. It's going to have, it has a little bit more taper in the nose, so you can have a tendency to put the, the nose of the board in the, wa or in the wave in front of you, so you could pearl the board a bit more often. So there's going to be a little bit, you're not going to progress quite as fast when you jump on this board. However, once you start to go surfing more and start to figure out what you're doing out in the ocean, this is the board that's gonna be kind of a stepping stone into getting into smaller boards if that's what you want. And having one of these boards in your quiver is great too. So don't think like, if I get this board and then in a couple months I'm gonna have to get another board. Having one of these boards in your quiver is great for those really small days. Also, if you have people, uh, family or friends that wanna go surfing too, it's always great to have one of these types of boards. So this is a great board. We really recommend this to those type of beginners. Now, if you're wanting to get a little bit nicer of a board over the torque, then we really like this um, LibTech pickup stick. It's a very popular board. We sell a lot of these at Kite Paddle Surf. LibTech's a great company here in the Pacific Northwest. They make the boards in Washington State. A uh, very eco company, environmentally friendly and the really strong boards relatively pretty light so they pack a lot of performance in these boards they're going to last you a super long time and they are awesome to surf with as well so this board as you can see pretty similar but as you can the nose is quite a bit flatter than the uh, torque board so that's going to give you a bit more paddle power but it's also gonna the nose is kind of going to go into that front wave a few few more times than the other board could. So you have to kind of adapt to that. Um, this one has a couple different fin options in the back. So it has a five fin box, so you can run it as a thruster or as a quad, so you can kind of change up how this board behaves in the, in the surf. So you can change that there. But this is also a great option for that beginner surfer who is looking to progress and to become a better surfer. So that's a good option right there from LibTech. So, so those are kind of the, the two types of beginners that we want to talk about today. So wherever you kind of find yourself in those category, whether you just want that best beginner board that you're always going to have fun, 
go for the soft top. If you're a beginner and you're looking to progress and you want to uh, want to become a better surfer and go to that beginner intermediate, then maybe consider one of the harder ones as an option as well. So anyways, I hope that answers a few questions. If you have any more questions, hit us in the comments below. Uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and we just want to thank you guys for watching and good luck with your surfing. See ya.